setting aside the macroeconomics and, and everything that goes around that, I think for, for, for the work that I'm doing, I've seen much more collaboration between some of the key countries uh, and governments. Um, so, for instance, a good example is the, 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 the Memorandum of Understanding and Agreement that's been signed between Scotland and Denmark, sharing intellectual property, sharing knowledge, sharing experience around, for instance, renewables. That's hugely important to Scotland. And I think we can reflect on the, the Danes' brilliant district heating schemes and how they generate clean power from, from waste, for instance, the circular economy, how they manage their assets. These are all things that actually they'll spill down to places like Glasgow City Centre and we can learn from that Danish market. So that's just one, one example. But I see the collective ambition of, of the countries in Europe in particular coming around this kind of collaborative, joined up whole systems approach very much reflected through transport, active travel, the built environment, which is today's COP uh, on Thursday. So yeah, there's a huge ambition there and I think we can learn from that.